Hey guys, how's it going? We are about to jump into this video and I must have not hit record or just completely deleted the video on accident. So this is the intro to the video. I had a whole other intro filmed. We are in LA during this video. I'm actually back home now while you're seeing it. But um, this video is taking place. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm hanging out with my friend Chai Ming. We're gonna go do a little bit of plant shopping and she's gonna show me her garden. So it's kind of a little menagerie of a few different things, but um, I had a really, really good time. So we're gonna just jump right into this video. So here we go. Okay, we are in Manhattan Beach at Un Cafe. We're gonna go get breakfast and uh, it's very foggy. <laughs> it's marine layer. It's marine layer. So we're gonna go eat. Uh, I have not really seen the beach yet, so. We'll see, if, won't. we'll see if I get to. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of plant shopping, even though I don't get to bring anything home. No. <laughs> we're at Rolling Greens. It is a huge tease. And I'm already seeing some crazy stuff. And there's like a whole section over here that's like 75% off sale section. And they're working on holiday. They're working on holiday stuff. Like it's all out right now. So we're gonna do a little plant shopping. You get inspiration at least. Sure, we'll take it. Um, so we're gonna see what's here and then we're gonna go back to your house yes. because you're working on the most greenhouse. beautiful greenhouse. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, so not done. it's not it's done. It's not done. A lot of work that needs to be done, but you can get it's sneak so peeks. Good. You'll get sneak peeks and then you'll have to go over to her channel and to see she's working on the install. So once she gets everything up and ready, yep. she'll have a video out about the it's greenhouse. DIY. It's so pretty. Okay, let's go plant shopping. Okay. Okay, so they are in the middle of setting up for their holiday house. And look at, this is when you first enter. It's like twinkling lights and everything up above. It's so cool. It's really, really pretty. And then this like alleyway of like big pottery and of like boxwoods and everything. It's, it's really cool. So we just, we're gonna go inside and then we're gonna go into this section next. So they have this little area set up right here. Little like photo shoot session. And then you come in here and like they're getting ready for like the holiday area. Look at it. A little sneak peek right over there. And this entire thing. So this is the main section right here. This is the greenhouse area. And you guys, I'm dying. I'm in love. These are 175, 104, 63. These ones are really pretty. I love the like fluted edge. These are 52. I could fit like these little ones. They're so pretty. And you can see they're getting ready for all of their like holiday stuff and all of this. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Look at their little pick bar. Are these real? Oh, they're faux. These are really good faux. Holy cow. Those are killer faux branches. I want to find these. I want these for my house. This little paper, no, the paper ornaments. They're so cute. I'm gonna get flagged for music. Okay, I'm so ready for everything holiday. Look at these glass ornaments. Oh, these are so cool. They're $21. I like these little pine cones. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready for the holidays. I like this ornament has my heart. Look at how long that is. It is $30, but it's so pretty. So the whole holiday house, there's chiming. We're both filming everything we're loving. Their garland, everything, the wallpaper. It's all a moment. This is such pretty wallpaper. I'm obsessed with this tree topper. It is so pretty. Look at this wooden bowl. Okay with me. That's a, yeah, those are my okay like faux florals. Like these these are ones that you'll have forever. They look so real. You make that. You make that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see how big it is? It's huge. I feel like I could make something like this. And that's something that I kind of want to do. This is 94 and they're just wired onto like a like a soft foam branch but i feel like i could go with like a um like a willow branch from our tree and all of the little plants
Look at how tiny these little pepper plants are. They're <laughs> so cute. And like these little cyclamen right here. They're so cute. All right, we're gonna go into this section. Look at this table. Holy cow. It's got like live yeah, knots on it. I need to make one. And like this whole centerpiece is all planted up. That is so cool. This is the dream. That's cr this is crazy. I need this at my house. I need this at my house. I don't have room in my house. Oh my gosh, look at these pots. They look like little strawberries. They look like big strawberries. You could do you could do your rosemary up there. It's it's definitely you need a bigger one. It's fine. <laughs> a whole garden center with a view, as long as I don't biff it down the stairs. This is so cool. Some really pretty boxed trees right here. Huge redwood, not redwood. Uh. Red bud. I knew the red part. I got the red part. Ooh, look at these butterfly bush. Those are really pretty. Very bright. See, you need some water in your backyard. <laughs> your lettuce growing things? No. Your lettuce towers? No, you need like moving water. Something like this. They're so big. What does one of these run? Let's see, one with the handles. Oh wait, this one is... She said 800, yeah, 1250. Woo, spicy price. Whatever this is, it's really, really pretty. I love the dark foliar growth and the like pink stems on it. Really pretty. <coughs> Chiming said Agonis after dark. <laughs> so if she's wrong, that's on her. <laughs> Look at a variegated lemon tree. Yeah, the fruits and then they have a spalier fruit. What is have that like a pear back there? It's I haven't seen this lemonade, this lemon tree before. The picture is usually it's like a zebra. Look at it. Oh, the lemon looks striped. Yeah, it's striped that's cool. When it's not ripe, and then when it ripens, the stripes kind of turn. They're growing apples here. Anna apple. It must be a super low chill hour. Best apple for mild winter climates. Mm hmm such as Southern California and Phoenix, Arizona. So if you're in that area and you want to grow apples, here's one, and an apple. Obviously they can grow it here and successfully get apples. Look at their ornamental cabbages. Holy cow, these are so incredibly beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's such a good size too and they have a whole tray of them. Wish I could fit that in my suitcase. <laughs> oh, and look, they're still getting snapdragons. You can make snapdragons talk. If you didn't know that, just squeeze the necks of them and they, they talk. So this is the outdoor section. This is their sold section over here. Look at this creeping fig somebody bought. That is huge. Look at, they have another table with like the center of it, like carved out for plants. Isn't that so cool? A succulent one. Low water. Well, not in my house. This is all of their trees. There's an icy blue plant. I want one of these so bad. Don't have room for it. Okay, so this is the third level, the lowest level. And this is where there's a lot more plants. And like this ficus, you guys, I've seen this thing growing like all over, like just out and about. That's so crazy. Palm trees, whatever that tree is, is really cool. Not get back there. This is a forest. I was gonna say, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> this ZZ plant is huge, and there are a ton of them. They're ninety-five dollars. Holy cow! So this is just basically greenhouse plants indoor things things that you would probably find like in a home or in an office some big trees i always really liked them i have terrible luck with them though look at this neon pothos that's so bright just get a whole wall of pothos 
whatever you want. Or what are these guys called? These are the like enjoy or something like that. Isn't that what they're called? I don't know anything about houseplants. Just the cutest little vignettes. They do a really good job styling it. Look at this one tree. It's like a Dracaena. Isn't that cool? It's a very, very old one. Okay, we're gonna head back to uh, Chai Ming's house now. This place was crazy, it was so cool. I'm hoping that the audio works. There is music playing and it is playing very loud here. And so I can't have that in my videos. So I'm hoping that I wore my mics and they, they work. We'll see. So we're gonna head to Chai Ming's house so I can show you guys her greenhouse and her front yard. We are at Chai Ming's house now. This is her front yard and she's gonna kind of give us a quick little tour. It is coming to like the end of the season, so. Things it are. is a little bit of a hot mess. We are <laughs> in between a lot of projects, but I can still show you some mm -hmm. things. And there's an airport right by LAX, so yes. you guys might hear a few planes overhead, and so we're just going to roll with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so welcome in, and I have a, watch the gate, I have this Gracie Arbor here. It's by Terra Trellis. And I love it because it's actually really, really sturdy. It's and when, a really thick one. Yeah, and when there's no plants on it, it's still structurally really pretty. And yeah. it's this gray, so you can do whatever color plant and it really goes well. Um, what are you growing up at? So this was a pumpkin and this was the hammock holding it. But And this was the pumpkin you grew? Yeah, that's my <laughs> pumpkin I grew. And it fell and so yesterday I actually put wax on it to seal it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just. Wait, you actually grew that on this trellis? Yeah, it was hanging I right was here. joking. That's a huge pumpkin. Yeah. yeah, it was hanging here and it went boop and it rolled across <laughs> and then, yeah. So. Whatever. Yeah. And that's this, a huge pumpkin. That's really cool that you're able to grow it up this trellis too. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it, no, that's a massive it's pumpkin. It's really heavy. I, and I, then you had your skeleton guy here who you had a container in him, but it just fell out. Yeah. It was and it was supposed to be like, like he was like holding it. Oh, like there running we go. away. Yeah. He's like. Like tiptoeing away. But caught dead. <laughs> yeah. Like caught red handed or caught whatever. Caught in their tracks. Right. And then you have like so, the world's largest mums behind you. I do. And. They're so pretty. See, for size. <gasps> that's that psychotic. Amazing? That's so cool. I saw how big they were and I was like, done. Yep. These we'll take all of them. These are also pretty big, but one size smaller. And They're really pretty. I'm in the process of like changing out the front. Yeah. But the idea was before we had a heat wave kind of, you like, is it some? Some believable. Yeah, you love those, yeah, right? Yeah. So this is some believable, but with the heat wave and such, it's kind of not as happy. Yeah, it's, it's still blooming. It is still blooming. Um, at least the, like the little brown heads still look good. Yeah. So the idea is to have the big ones and also the red ones and then the yellow. And then it's all like fall ready. Mm -hmm. And then you have your dahlia patch yes, over here. Yeah, so this is all my dahlia patch. It's a little sad right now. And these are supposed to be your like luxury yes, dahlias. Yes, these are like my tip top breeder specialized dahlias. They're kind of falling over. We've got a lot of powdery mildew. Well, it's the end of the season, so it's Yeah, fine. they need to get cut down. But they are really But we pretty. got some really, really big ones. I'll show you over here. And then right here, you can see a really big one. Yeah, that one's... Like, that's my hand right next to it. <laughs> but yeah, so I just have a few plants, you know, not a too A lot many. of dahlias. What did you say this one was? Where? Right here. Oh, that's a dahlia. No, what, do you know the name of it? Um, I think that one is Bloomquist Allen. This one's so pretty. Say. Yeah, this is also the same one, but has fallen over. It's really pretty. I like the like round habit yeah. of these blooms. They're very round. Oh, that was a spider. Ooh, <laughs> heebie jeebies. Yeah, I got a lot of bugs in here, so no pesticides or whatever. So we just take the bugs as it is. It's, yep. it's the end of the season anyway, so at this point they can just have it, right? Yep. Yep. And that's how I feel in my I'm garden. I'm going to dig tubers in a month or so. But I love that you have a dahlia patch. I really wish you need that a I had dahlia done. Patch. I wish I had done dahlias. I didn't do a single one this year, and I'm feeling really bummed about it, especially after seeing yours. <laughs> and then this is your tomato plant. This is my tomato plant. There are one, two, three, four, maybe like six plants in here. Yeah. But come closer so you can see. 
Because I actually watch the rose. Don't get poked. <laughs> I actually didn't grow them. They're literally placed in their little container, and then and there's a drip from the bottom. Yeah, from the bottom. That's and so, so crazy. And there's a ton of tomatoes on it. Yeah. I can't believe you got this many tomatoes from leaving it in its can. Yep. And these are from Ball, and they're like the unicorn. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's a really good size, too. Yeah. And you should try. Do you like tomatoes? Yeah, I do. They're really good. Chocolate cherry. So it has like the brown shoulders yeah, I like on that it. Yeah, a lot. That and it's like striped. Really, mm hmm. They're really tasty. And then I have a purple one over there. Let's oh, see. whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And you have some big ones down yeah, there, no, too. Yeah, no, those are like Wonder Star or something really giant. So, <laughs> I just can't believe you didn't plant any of them. I didn't. And you can see, like, this thing is like, it's I don't know, huge. I'm five feet tall. So. And it's like leaning over. Yeah, it's on my neighbor's side, too. And they love it because they get to eat whatever's over and there. this dahlia is really, really pretty. Mm-hmm. I love how dark that is. Yeah, they all have a name, but sometimes I've lost them or forgotten what it is. Ooh, tomato after you eat gum. Not probably, a good idea. Probably wasn't <laughs> the best. <laughs> I also did not plant any of this. These are all volunteers. <laughs> this year has been the year about volunteers because Perfect. I've just been in client gardens. So here, these are called cucamelons. If you haven't had them, they look like little mini watermelon mm -hmm. ornaments, but they are actually cucumber family. They're like a sour cucumber. It looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, and... I tried one. Some people like to pickle them. I feel like pickled, they'd be really good. Yeah, and just pop yeah. on. Yeah. This is like in progress right here. <laughs> so I put some hydrangeas in, there's some blueberries. I have a dead lychee tree because I thought irrigation was going to it, but and that didn't happen. And this rose is pretty too. Mm-hmm. That's Queen of Elegance. Perfect. And that's actually her at the end stages. Yeah. And then I have a pumpkin growing through her. Yeah. It's oh, I see the pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be that size. Oh, that's the same one. Mm-hmm. It's a different plant, but it's planted from the same spot. Okay, now we're in the backyard. Yes. And you have the biggest blackberries I've ever seen in my entire life right here. So I planted this blackberry plant maybe four or five years ago and it's still yeah. producing. It is actually a thornless blackberry. So what? if you look, there are no thorns on this thing. Holy cow. Yeah. And I don't think they sell it anymore. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. But look at how but big these how berries big. are. That's the size. I know. The biggest berries I've ever seen and in my entire delicious. life. They were. I they're had like, one of them and it was like four bites is what it took. Like, look at yeah, tons more to come. Yeah. That's so, so crazy. And then behind you. Yeah. And behind <laughs> me, I didn't plant this. this. Um, I did plant the tall ones. These are basil that are at the end of their season right That's now. That's Thai basil, right? This one is Thai basil. Mm -hmm. They're Thai columnar basil. Um, but this is holy basil with bitter melon that I also did not plant. There's a lot this of bees the, around this me. This is the year of This is the year of self-sustaining volunteers, <laughs> okay? And so this is bitter melon that self-seeded and I actually had this garden bed over there and had moved it because I'll show you in a minute okay. but the all of this holy basil just came with the soil like I had a plant oh. it had its seeds in the soil I yeah. moved the soil and and then bam all of it just came it was so holy pretty cow. the bees loved it so I they decided, still love it there are so many bees yeah like, and I was like this provides all the food for the pollinators the so I just leave them. And this and is it smells holy. so good. It does. It's holy basil. You can use it in arrangements or you can also as an edible, a medicinal. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a little four inch is six or seven dollars. And I have this entire. <laughs> yeah. How big is this bed? Yeah, an eight, eight foot bed. It's an eight bed, but the bed's over there. Yeah. Like. The bed's there and it sticks out this far. Yeah. So it's 10 feet of basil. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of basil. I know. And then let's talk about this. Um, oh, yeah. So that's why oh, this yeah. had to move. <laughs> this, this little thing here. That's why everything so, is in the in the shuffle mode. Yes. Everything is disturbed. Um, nothing is in its final resting place except for this. Mm -hmm. And this will be my greenhouse. And I'll So pretty. Yep. This is the BC greenhouse. Yes. Yeah, so this is BC greenhouses. Um, we'll pop it up on the screen. Okay. That's yeah. way easier than remembering anything. I never remember I anything. Like, <laughs> I used to have it all in my brain and it's 
Gone. So you so, did the Pasadena house. I did the Pasadena Showcase house for 2024. This was part of a collaboration with BC Greenhouses. And the idea was it was going to be installed there and then moved to my house. So then I can create more content for them. Mm -hmm. And now we are putting it in. And so so you had to build it, and then take it down, and then you have to move it here and then yes. rebuild it. Yes. OK. And it actually sat for months in my garage because I couldn't commit because to where you, you wanted it to go. No, because mm. of the ground. So oh, yeah, my you're entire me this. backyard, except for like a six foot perimeter all the way around, is um, concrete. Concrete that is like six to eight inches deep too. Yeah. So it's really expensive to remove and to dispose. I would probably would have had to spend ten thousand dollars to remove this. Yeah. And so instead. I didn't. And so we're going to raise it up and yep. Yep. Level it out this way. Yep. So it's anchored into the concrete. This thing is not going anywhere. Yep. And, and then I'm, you have glass going in hopefully I, this week and then you'll yep. have your video of the full reveal probably hopefully, in two weeks. Yep. Hopefully Rob is going to keep me, <laughs> keep me honest and keep me on it. Uh -huh. um, but it's but yeah. so pretty. Look at the like top with the like finials up there. Just imagine a door. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. It's almost pretty. I was thinking people should just have this and then like grow the vines. You could literally do this like a, as, a living house. Like a yes, mm -hmm. as a trellis in California, like yeah. we don't really have that much rain. Like and like at least where I'm at, like a greenhouse is not usable except for in the winter months. Correct. So it's like you would just have an opening and you can mm -hmm. there's actually bars that need to be installed right here. Yeah. And it could just be like imagine passion fruit or jasmine or something mm -hmm. flowery or roses. Roses. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Yeah. We're like both some like Eden climber roses going up this thing. Yeah. That'd be so worse. So at least like the face of it. Yeah. Oh, that would be so pretty. Yeah. But there's glass panels, so we'll put those in. I haven't decided how like I haven't committed to what's gonna be on the <laughs> inside. But, but you did set up some chairs. I did. So if we wanted to chat, we can. Yeah. And and then you have some little friends back here. Can we go see them? Yes, I have some friends. I also have a lot of passion fruit on the ground, so that's why it's so a So you have two food. dogs and two a cat. Two dogs, one cat, and a bunch of chickens. And a bunch of chickens. So they're all back there. Wanna, yeah, look so at them. They're dust bathing, you see. Look at how cute they are. Our chickens are so pretty. Look at them. Yeah. I love the gray color. Me too. Oh, how many do you back, have? They're back there. That's the question you're not supposed to ask anybody. How many chickens. How many more chickens can you fit in here? Um, I don't know. <laughs> and then so they've got shade in here and they've got their little coop in here. And that's actually grape and passion fruit over the arch over there. That is grape and yep. passion fruit? Yep. That's really cool. And then so this is kind of a sad lemon tree right now in front of you. <laughs> and well. The cutest little chickens. And then I have an avocado tree, a lime tree. And then what is this? Tell me so about that, this. It's a wax apple. And I wanted to plant this because it reminds me of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And I came when I was three, so I don't get to go very often or anything. But this is a fruit that I would eat there. And my husband says it tastes like styrofoam. I tried one of them. I don't think it tastes like <laughs> styrofoam, but the texture is <laughs> yes. styrofoam related, yes. adjacent. <laughs> so there's a lot of names for it. So I call it wax apple, but there's like rose apple or rose water or water apple. Rose apple is such a pretty name for that because yeah. that's exactly what it looks like too, like a rose apple. And then there is another fruit that's also a rose apple. So oh. it's like... <laughs> All yeah. the different names. So I just, and there's like a Jambu, but in Southeast Asia, it's like native to there. Yeah. And then behind it, the taller one is actually a guava tree, a Thai guava. And that came from a branch from my mom's tree. So she air layered that. And your mom has a packed garden. Yeah. My yeah. mom I've has. Seen, I've seen clips of oh, your yeah. mom's garden. I have it that is packed. Video up. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we never talked about it. My whole lot is only 5,000 square feet, but oh, I've yeah. really been very efficient. You have about a million trees in here. Yeah, probably. I just showed <laughs> you like six of them, right? Yeah. And then I've got dragon fruit. The fruit's all gone, so I don't have any fruit to show you. But I've got dragon fruit on that back wall, a loquat tree. And then can we meet your dog? Yes. Come here, Kira. Who is this? Come here. This is Kira. Come here, Kira. He's the sweetest little baby. He's a good girl. Aww. Hi. Sweet Kira. <laughs> She's crazy, Kira. He's a good girl. She's so good. 
Yeah, we got her in January this year as a rescue, as an accident. I, I'm seeing a trend here with me. Everything's like a volunteer <laughs> or an accident. Yeah, this is the year of volunteers. Yep. Huh. And, um, Hi, baby. Yeah. Hi, Toki. She got oh, returned once and she was in the shelter for seven months. That's so, so sad. I couldn't leave without her. Of course not. But Dog people. Yeah. <laughs> not entertained. She loves just, she loves attention. So. Wait, who is this one? This is Bo. Come here, Bo. Come here, Bo. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, Bo. He's five. He's a really good boy. He's about 100 pounds. She's only 45. Is this your chair? He yes. wants to get closer to you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> With all my animals. With all your animals. <laughs> come here. Go say hi. Come here. Can someone come over on my side? Come here. Hi, little oh. baby Andrew. Here. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, you guys. I think that that is going to be it for this video. We got to see your property. Yep. We did a little plant shopping. We went to breakfast. Yes. And I think we're going to just chat and hang out for a little bit. Yes. Before I have to move on to the next thing. <laughs> I'm going to get all dogs. the kisses because my dogs are at home. They're going to be so mad at me. Like you left They're us for see. other dogs. I know. Huh. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.